Today we have some bad news. NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, the farthest human-made object from Earth, has encountered a problem with its flight data system, which keeps its antenna pointed at our planet. But the good news is, engineers have managed to fix the issue and restore normal communication with the probe. In this video, we will tell you how they did it, why this glitch is important, what it reveals about the Voyager mission and interstellar exploration, and how the spacecraft is coping with the challenges of being 46 years old and 14 billion miles away from home. So stay tuned and get ready to learn more about one of the most amazing achievements in space history. The problem started when NASA's Deep Space Network, a network of antennas that communicates with spacecraft, received corrupted data from Voyager 1. The data was from the probe's attitude articulation and control system, which keeps the antenna pointed at Earth. Without this system, the probe would lose contact with Earth and stop sending scientific data. The engineers quickly realized that the data was corrupted because the attitude articulation and control system was sending it to the wrong computer on the spacecraft. The computer that was supposed to receive the data was the flight data system, which formats and encodes the data for transmission to Earth. But instead, it was sending the data to the command computer, which does not have the capability to format and encode the data. This resulted in a mismatch between the data and the computer, causing the data to appear as gibberish. The engineers suspected that the cause of the problem was a faulty memory location on the Attitude Articulation and Control System computer, which stores the address of the Flight Data System computer. Somehow, the memory location got corrupted and changed. The address of the Flight Data System computer to the address of the Command computer. The engineers did not know how or why this happened, but they knew it was a serious problem that could jeopardize the mission. If the problem persisted, probe would eventually drift away from Earth and lose communication. So the engineers had to act fast and find a solution before it was too late. The solution was not easy, as the engineers faced many challenges and difficulties. First of all, they had to deal with the distance and time delay between Earth and Voyager 1. The probe is currently about 152 astronomical units from Earth. That means it takes about 21 hours for a signal to travel from Earth to the probe and back, which makes it very hard to diagnose and fix the problem in real time. So they had to plan ahead and send commands in advance, hoping that they would work. Secondly, they had to deal with the complexity and age of the spacecraft. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977, and it has been operating for 45 years in the harsh environment of space. The spacecraft has a limited amount of power, memory, and processing capability. It also has many redundant systems and backup modes, which are designed to protect the spacecraft from failures and anomalies. Engineers had to understand how these systems and modes interact and affect each other, and how to override them if necessary. Thirdly, engineers had to deal with the risk and uncertainty of the situation. They had to be very careful and cautious, as any mistake could make the problem worse or damage the spacecraft. They also had to be creative and flexible, as they had to come up with new and unconventional ways to solve the problem. Those engineers also had to test and verify their solutions on a simulator before sending them to the spacecraft and consulting with other experts and teams, such as the Voyager project manager, the science team, and the original designers. After several weeks of analysis and testing, the engineers came up with a solution. They decided to command the attitude articulation and control system to send the data to the correct computer, the flight data system, by using a special command that bypasses the faulty memory location. They also decided to command the flight data system to reset its memory, which would clear any corrupted data that might have accumulated. They sent these commands to the spacecraft and waited for their response. After 21 hours, they received the good news. The commands worked and the data was restored. The engineers celebrated and congratulated each other on their success. 
The solution was a great achievement, but it also raised some questions and issues. One of them is, how reliable and resilient is the Voyager 1 spacecraft after 46 years in space? The spacecraft has survived many challenges and obstacles, such as the extreme cold and radiation of space, the gravitational slingshots of planets, and the crossing of the heliopause, the boundary between the solar system and interstellar space. This spacecraft has also exceeded its original mission duration and objectives, which were to explore Jupiter and Saturn. It has gone on to explore Uranus, Neptune, and beyond, and has become the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. It has also provided valuable scientific data and discoveries, such as the volcanoes of Io, the rings of Saturn, the magnetic fields of Uranus and Neptune, and the interstellar medium. However, this spacecraft is also showing signs of aging and wear. It has lost some of its instruments and functions, such as the cameras, the plasma wave instrument, and the gyroscopes. It is also running low on power, as its radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which convert heat from radioactive decay into electricity, are gradually losing efficiency. Another question is, how important and valuable is the scientific data that the probe sends back to Earth. The probe is currently in a unique and unexplored region of space, the interstellar space, where it can study the properties and phenomena of the interstellar medium, such as the cosmic rays, the magnetic fields, and the plasma waves. The probe can also measure the pressure and temperature of interstellar space and compare them with the pressure and temperature of the solar wind, the stream of charged particles from the sun, the probe can also detect the presence and influence of other stars and galaxies, and possibly other forms of life. The probe can also test some of the fundamental laws and theories of physics, such as general relativity and quantum mechanics, and see if they hold true in interstellar space. The probe can also provide new insights and perspectives on our place and role in the universe, as well as our connection and relation to other worlds and beings. However, the scientific data is also limited and challenging. The probe can only send a small amount of data, about 160 bits per second, which is equivalent to a few words of text. The probe can also only send data once every six months when it is aligned with Earth. It can also only send data that is relevant and meaningful as it has to prioritize and select the most important and interesting data. It can also only send data that is accurate and reliable, as it has to avoid and correct any errors and distortions. It can also only send data that is interpretable and understandable, as it has to translate and explain the data in terms that humans can comprehend and appreciate. So what are the future plans and prospects for the Voyager mission and interstellar exploration? The probe is expected to operate until 2036, when it will run out of power and enter a hibernation mode. The probe will still continue to travel through space, but it will not be able to send any data or receive any commands. It will become a silent and lonely traveler, a relic, and a witness of human civilization. It will also carry a golden record, a phonograph record that contains sounds and images of Earth, such as music, languages, greetings, and natural sounds. It is intended to be a message and a gift to any intelligent life forms that might encounter the probe in the future. The record is also a testament taught and a legacy of human culture and diversity. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you want to learn more about this topic and other topics related to astronomy and cosmology, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.